the forces of nature remain the one thing that man cannot control. Despite the comfort our newfound capabilities to predict inclement weather have afforded us, we are reminded time and again that there are forces at work beyond our understanding. And as the clouds gather, we cannot always predict what will tumble out of them. This October, on Friday the 13th, from an executive producer of The Walking Dead and an executive producer of The X-Files come six terrifying tales based on the podcast phenomenon, Lore. Until then, we offer you this short film inspired by the series. My name is Rosemary Sanders. I am an earth science teacher. So that means I know a thing or two about the weather. Having animals fall from the sky has been documented on paper going back to the ninth century. It is disconcerting, but some people take it catastrophically. New meaning was given to the phrase, raining cats and dogs, in June of 2009, when scattered showers of frogs rained down upon the residents of Rakokshi Falva in Hungary. As stunned onlookers grasped for an explanation, the downpour ceased just as abruptly as it had begun. Sometimes the frogs have come down alive. As they get churned in the cloud and broken apart, sometimes it's pieces of frogs, and sometimes they're frozen. They're pulled very high into this cumulonimbus cloud. It's very cold at the top of the cloud, and they will freeze and drop suddenly. In the heat of the summer, you're more prone to have this cumulonimbus cloud developing. A water spout can touch down over a pond. And because frogs are very lightweight animals, they can be pulled into the cloud itself. The same year, a rainfall of hundreds of fish bombarded residents of Lajamanu, Australia, 326 miles from the nearest river. Even today, the scientific community has yet to reach consensus on an explanation for the phenomenon. Honestly, it would depend on the size of the animal. It would also depend on the strength of the system itself. And it can fall a great distance from where it was first picked up because the cloud would be traveling. Uh, when you see in reports in the Midwest, you can get softball-sized hailstones. They weigh a lot more than a frog. Now, a lot of times, frogs or fish raining from the sky is often seen as a sign from God or an upset of the natural world. The Old Testament is filled with such examples of vengeful God's wrath. In the book of Exodus, a plague of frogs rained down upon the people of Egypt as punishment for Pharaoh's refusal to free the Israelites. Are the raining animals an environmental disruption to be explained by further scientific study? Or are these modern-day plagues a warning that the end of days is near? It can be frogs, it can be fish, and it can be birds. And any anomaly in the natural world can be very disruptive. Without sounding trite, I would say watch your step. 